Hey everyone, what's going on? Today we are doing the Crafting Golems quest. Um, if you haven't yet, you're going to want to watch my Focusing Stone video so that you know how to get the Empyrean Sunstone. You have to have that to complete this quest. Then we're going to head to Arwick to do the Arwick Mines portion. From the drop, you're going to go in. You're going to go to the right. Into the large room, you'll make your first right through the door, down the ramp, left into this door, right down the ramp, straight through the door, left, right, left. Straight. See some old portals over here. Ignore that for now. Left left right left down the ramp make a right and then should be there it is in this big room with the golem stone of alborel that's the second stone once you have that we're gonna head to collier through facility hub head into the town for the Banderling Raider Guardian, which I think spawns out here somewhere. There it is, in this house. Grab the small rusted key off the corpse, and then we're looking for the heavy drudge prowler think spawns in this house sort of outside of the town and grab the cell key Two keys, the scratch key and the baron's key. We'll head back the way we came. Down. Back this way. Into the larger room. Then we'll pull this lever. This lever opens the door there, and we'll jump down. Heading north. We'll go right, and then left. Into this room. The chest. Use a scratch key on the chest to grab a treasure chest key. ramp. It's going to take us back to where uh, we got 
those two keys off the undead corpse. This time we're gonna go down this ramp here. At the T, we're gonna go right. Left into this room. And then at the split. We should be able to use the Baron's key on this door. Go down and left. Down the ramp. At this T, we're gonna go right. Right. Left around this whole thing. Left, right, Baron's key on the door, up the ramp, and finally into the final room. This is where you would get the Baron's amulet of life giving. Where's the Baron? Just for, we'll just do the whole quest. Kill the Baron of Collier just for kicks. Here's his, his chest. You'll use the treasure chest key on the chest. Grab Baron's Amulet of Life Giving if you want it. And then you get the stone. It's just kind of hanging out on the ground. Now we have all three stones. We can combine them. So blue stone on yellow stone, and then red stone on the blue and yellow stone to get Empyrean Golem Stone. Now that we have the stone, you're going to head to the Halls of Mitos near Tufa. So just make your way through the dungeon. It's a pretty simple dungeon. At the bottom, you'll find a golem constructor and a sigil keeper. You're going to hand your Empyrean golem stone to the constructor, and you'll get back an inactive blank golem, and you'll get a finding imprinting motes, which tells you the locations of those. And at the sigil keeper, you can buy the sigils that you need. So if you want to make an alchemy crafting golem, if you want to make a cooking crafting golem, you're going to buy these sigils. So I actually already have a lockpickers golem, although it's just a basic one. So this one, I'm going to make a cooking golem. I'm going to buy a couple of those sigils. 
and I'll buy the lockpicking sigils so that I can upgrade my lockpicking golem. So now this part is a little bit annoying. You need to find a golem sanctum portal on the landscape. It's a random spawn. I tend to find it just doing stuff like the Atlan stones or running around looking for other random things. So you kind of hope that somebody finds one or, you know, I wouldn't go out of my way just looking for it. The other thing that's really nice is you can tie to the portal, which is what I have done. So I'm going to go grab that tie now. So the Golem Sanctum Portal cannot be summoned, but it can be recalled to, and the imprinting motes are not attuned bonded. So you can run this on any character and then pick it up and save it for your other characters. So I have just been running this, you know, somewhat frequently to grab them for alternates. So there we go. You'll grab the imprinting moat. Like I said, it's not attuned bonded. And then we're going to go give this to Felseroth. There we go, now I have cooking. <laughs> okay, so now that I have cooking, we can use the cooking sigil on the imprinting moat. I have 100% chance of success. It's based on skill. And then you're gonna use the uh, imprinted moat now on your inactive blank golem. To give you an inactive cook's golem, which summons the golem when you use it. Journeyman Cook's Golem, and it casts Journeyman Cook's Inspiration on you, which increases your skill by 10, can be stacked with everything. It's pretty nice. Now this can be upgraded two more times. I'm gonna make that in a separate video because this is already a pretty long video. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this one. These golems are actually super useful, especially the lock picking one for uh, Viridian Rise, but they're all pretty useful just to get a little buff in skill. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please press that like button. Please subscribe to the channel. And thanks for watching. Bye.